Hello everyone and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today I'm bringing you episode 2 of my 3 litre Z4 Coupe improvement series. In episode 1, with thanks to HWM, I managed to fix a few mechanical issues I found the car had, so if you haven't seen that video, make sure you click the link above. In today's episode, I've come to Maya Alloys to sort my heavily corroded wheels out, but before we start the work, let's talk to the manager to find out a bit more about this company. So as you can see, I've done my PP because everything has to be COVID secure at the moment, and I've come in to meet Al, one of the managers here at Maya Alloys, who's just going to talk a little bit, little bit more about the company and some of the big upgrades they've recently made. All right. I'm Alan here at My Alloys. Um, we're a family run business um, that's been going since about 2008. Um, we specialise in refurbishment of alloy wheels, um, whether it be through buckling, cracked, um, or just a full refurbishment, whether you want colour change or corrosion, air loss, etc. Um, as I say, we, we started in 2008, and it, as myself and my parents, and we've expanded now to try and create a, a one stop shop, ideally. Um, one of the new investments we have just made and installed last week is our new alignment machine, um, which allows us then to, to broaden what we do. With the roads in the condition they are, you're likely to hit a pothole, not just damage the wheel and your tyre, more stuff in the car. So that's, that's one of the reasons we've invested in this, which should be up and running in the new year. This is exciting stuff. Um, as I can, I'll walk you through and show you, this is obviously our tyre bay where we do stripping of the tyres or supplying of new tyres, rebalancing. Um, this is the start of the process and also the end of the process. Um, so yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. So as I said, we're going to do the entire process from start to finish and I think it's going to be a great result because my wheels aren't in the best condition. I can't wait to see them uh, looking as good as they're going to look tomorrow. So without further ado, I think we'll, uh, we'll get cracking. Yeah, cool. <laughs> The wheels have now come off the car, so they're now coming into the tyre bay. And what we're going to do is mark the customer's name on the tyre, uh, the position that it was on the car, and also um, the tyre facing the wheel. Um, this should be standard, but some people might have had them fitted incorrectly, so at this point we can say how they're fitted and advise the customer from that point on. We've now let all the air out of the tyres, so now we're ready to take the tyres off, and then we can uh, assess the wheels. weights. And what we do is we're just going to spin this on the balancer and we'll just check for any buckling. Um, fingers crossed no cracks. Um, we can't check at this point just then we can advise the customer if necessary if there is any issues. Right, so the whip, all the tyres have come off, found some weights removed, uh, we spun them and checked them. Um, we're now going to take them into the stripping area to go into the tank, ready to strip, hopefully in the morning, good to go. Perfect. Now 
Right, we're now going to put the wheels, the wheels will go into a basket every single night. Ideally they're loaded, straight to a benzyl alcohol chemical. Um, reason we use that is it's safer for the wheels for the substrate. Whatever you put in, it doesn't attack the metal or the alloy. Um, other products will eat the metal so the paint falls off. This just affects the paint. You could leave the wheels in there for quite a long time, nothing will happen. It's safer for us to use and it's safer for your wheels basically. It has been 24 hours since my wheels were first submerged into the 6,000 litre benzyl alcohol stripping tank. They are submerged for such a long time to allow the chemical to slowly and safely remove the paint and surface corrosion without damaging the wheel itself. And now it's time to continue the process. This machine room is far too loud to talk in, which is why I'm continuing with the voiceover from here. From the stripping tank, the wheels go into a heated parts washer that cleans off any residual chemical, paint and superficial corrosion with heat and an added degreaser. In addition to cleaning, this process exposes the more deep-seated corrosion, of which we can see quite a lot of on my alloys. When this is done, they are left to dry to prepare them for the next stage. After they've dried, they are put onto a rack and taken over to the shop blaster, where they are separated into pairs. If we take a closer look, we can see there's still quite a lot of corrosion left on my wheels. This shot blaster is designed to gradually wear this down by firing 750 kilograms of stainless steel media across the wheel's surface for a predefined period of time. This process also prepares the wheel's surface for the next stage, that we will watch shortly. After the second pair are loaded up, they are pushed into the entrance of the shot blaster and then electrically brought into the machine's core. The door can then be closed and the process can begin. After a set time, the first blast is completed and the wheels are removed. Taking a closer look, we can still see some corrosion, but a huge improvement has already been achieved, especially compared to the other pair of alloys. The second pair then go in for their first blast, 
and the first pair gets turned around in preparation for their second blast to target more of the rim corrosion. After this, we can still see some very deep-seated corrosion, but the alloy's surface is now in significantly better condition, so it can move on to the next stage. Once shot blasted, the wheels are taken to a final preparation station, where a technician carries out a light surface sand on all of the alloy's faces to further reduce the deep-seated corrosion, to flatten out any minor imperfections, and to prepare the surface for the final stages in the paint room. The final part of this process is to mask up the hub section and place rubber stoppers into the bolt holes to protect it against various layers of paint and lacquer that will be applied shortly. This ensures the wheel can seat properly once we fit it to the car later. Once finished in the machine room, the wheels are taken into the paint room where they are first placed on a rack in preparation for spraying. They are then inspected and cleaned with an air jet to remove any loose particles from the last few stages. After they've been inspected and cleaned, a first powder coat primer is applied to inhibit the formation of more corrosion. This process uses electrostatic charge to bind the powder to the alloy's surface and requires the wheels to cure in ovens after each stage. That also helps with degassing or letting air and moisture out of the wheels. Once the first cure is completed, the wheels are removed with a glossy shine and are allowed to cool before a second layer of primer is applied to further inhibit corrosion. They are then wheeled back into the oven for the second cure. When this primer, cure, cool stage is finished, wheels are already looking glossy and so much better than before, but they aren't finished yet. From here, they are wheeled over to the paint bay where the selected colour can be applied. I chose the standard OEM silver, but my alloys can apply any colour or design you want. When the wheels have cooled sufficiently, the paint is thoroughly applied to both sides using a spray gun. A process I actually really enjoyed watching, as you can see them transforming right in front of you.
After each wheel has been coated, they are rolled into another oven to cure for a preset time. This was the penultimate cure, and after, that was off fully inspected for any, even minor issues, and then corrected. With the wheels in near perfect condition, an acrylic lacquer is applied to provide a layer of durable protection and crystal clear finish, despite turning the wheels temporarily white here. Once applied, the wheels return to the second oven for their final cure. With the final cure complete, the wheels are removed from the oven with a glossy, non-white finish. Apart from the final touches, the job is done, and look how good my alloys look. They have been totally transformed. From peeling, corroded and dirty, to rejuvenated, protected and pristine. After the wheels have cooled sufficiently, they are wheeled back into the tyre bay, where they first receive a protective plastic wrapping around the rim. New M badges are then inserted into the awaiting indentation and new valves are fitted. The tyres can then be lubricated and then fitted back into the alloys. When this is done, the protective wrapping is removed and the wheels are placed onto the ground to be reinflated before the wheel centres receive a final inspection and light sand to ensure they are completely flat. The wheels are then brought over to the balancing machine and new weights are added to ensure they are properly balanced. The final touch is then applied, new wheel caps as mine were completely ruined by years of neglect and weathering. The wheels are now completely finished, so the temporary wheels my car has been sitting on can be removed and mine can be refitted. So, after all, it's been a two-day process. My wheels are finally finished and looking absolutely amazing, as I have already shown. They're actually now showing off the calipers and the paintwork, but of course, I am going to be getting those done soon. So I want to say a huge thank you to all the guys here at My Alloys. They've done a fantastic job. So if you're in the area and uh, you need sort of similar work done, please get in contact with them. They'll be more than happy to help you. So please subscribe for the latest content. And until next time, thanks for watching.